Bristol is among one of the artiest cities in the world. But, of course, like many things, Covid has tried to stifle that. However, Keep Art It, a Bristol-based art entertainment and event organisation, has adapted to the times to share art with as many people as possible. My name is Doug and I'm running Keep Art It. And we're absolutely thrilled to be sharing art with you and with as many people as possible. And actually, that's really our mission is to share art with as many people as possible. Um, we started off with a fantastic exhibition in December with six artists, Rosie, Hazel, Dave, DFTE, uh, myself and Andy Burns. Um, and we had really fantastic audience feedback because people were just so thrilled to be able to engage with art physically in a COVID secure space. And working with the galleries shopping center in Bristol, we've been able to offer people art in a COVID secure space. That has been continuing to grow. Um, we've got some new partnerships with um, organizations like Fill Me In who focus on street art and music. Um, we're starting to do projects like artist residencies using some of the spaces. Um, we have some DJ production coming in, some people who want to do podcasts. Um, and it's really quite exciting to, to be part of this cutting edge bridging of retail and art and creativity that, that has been maybe a long time coming, but you know, obviously um, the pandemic has brought to, to the forefront. Um, but we're really trying to offer you know, pandemic friendly things. You know, because Keep Art It was, was formed during the pandemic, it was always geared with the eventualities of what might happen with lockdowns and social distancing um, as part of our whole way of operating. And what we offer is entirely acceptable within these COVID parameters, which is, which is really unusual because most things are trying to adjust. Keep Art It in partnership with Fill Me In are using two vacant retail units in the gallery's shopping centre in Bristol. Fill Me In is bringing street art together with music in a very interesting way. So Fill Me In started as an initiative to bring music and street art together. Um, and throughout lockdown it's been a real struggle to actually kind of introduce those things into a club night environment. Um, I think throughout lockdown we've done a couple of events, um, primarily at Lakota in Bristol. I am essentially the facilitator, so um, I organise all the street artists to come in. Um, through our brand we'll be selling prints of all the work that's on display. Um, and we'll also be kind of promoting the musicians that we end up working with throughout not just this space, but throughout the whole kind of um, deal we have with the galleries. So, um, you know, David Waite, the manager of this place, has been very supportive of kind of what our projects are. I think it was Rishi Sunak that said that creatives were kind of people that had to retrain, basically. They were kind of one of the least essential jobs um, within the UK. Um, and after hearing that, it was a real motivator um, to kind of you know, to set up something like this to prove him wrong.